I'm sure you're sick to death of talking about this, but the John Jones versus Stipe fight that everyone's going for, the legacy fight, the one for the yeah. fucking fans, whatever you want to call it, it, it doesn't actually make any sense. And there's a tweet here that you put out that said, last time that Stipe fought and won, GTA San Andreas had just come out on PS2. <laughs> Is <laughs> that accurate? Yeah, and he's put, he, put, he will Near fight enough. for the undisputed heavyweight title ahead of me, who's the interim champ, active and ranked number one in the world right now. That makes me quite upset. Is that like yeah. a, Dana, a Dana White thing? Is that, is, does he get to decide that or what? Who decides those? Yeah, Dana White, basically, yeah. I mean, mate, I've cried enough about it. There's, all, there's only so much crying I can do about it publicly. With, and, and I know that I'm not going to get the fight right now, so it's pointless even talking about it, mate, at this point. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm fucking sick of it. Just let them do what they're doing. Because, like, what what it seems like it would Drop happen... Josh, <laughs> Josh, he's going to chuck it out. <laughs> last thing, last thing. It seems like them two will have a fight. John Jones will win. Pretend, well, likely John Jones will win, then they'll both retire. I think that's you it, that seems what's... what it looks like. I don't know. I don't know, but uh, I'm not going to wait forever. No? I'm definitely not going to wait forever, so I want to move on with my career away from them. Uh, so, that's so, so you've that. got to put the... So you've got to put an interim title up for a, for somebody to take yeah. whilst they just sort of Pretty sit. much. That makes no sense, Pretty much. It? It's wild. It's absolutely wild. And it's unfair and it's unjust to put... What can I do? I'm not going to... Mate, I'm a fighter. I've got to fight someone. All right, so... It's a good, good attitude, yeah. Let's move on with it, man. Fight some other fucking... Yeah. Let's go hypothetical then. So, Stipe retires and just goes, I'm out. I've had enough. I've fought, I fought Daniel Cormier three times and I'm just going <laughs> to ride off into the sunset. How do you beat John Jones? I, I think I... I just think I can beat him. Okay. <laughs> I, know, I know that's... Uh, that I just I just think I'm all wrong for him. I just think I'm all wrong for him. First of all, his wins at light heavyweight were... Obviously, his resume is incredible. Like, it's absolutely incredible. But we're talking about the weight class below. He's yeah. fighting a lot smaller guys, and he's a big guy. So when he's fighting someone bigger than him, I think that... And the speed... I've got a massive speed advantage over him. He oh, was telling everybody. me that. I was watching like a little highlight, highlight reel of you before you came, and he's like, this guy moves like a middleweight, and I don't know much about combat sports, right? but I'm looking, I'm thinking, this dude's like way quicker, but doesn't really look any smaller than any of these guys. So that makes sense as to why you're successful, Yeah, I've just right? got a massive uh, speed advantage, and I'm getting faster as well. Yeah. As I'm getting older, I'm getting faster. Uh, it's something I'm working on a lot, and yeah, I want that fight. Obviously, I want that fight, but uh, whether they're going to give it me is a different story, but that's what I'm trying to get. Where do you see that John Jones has got weaknesses in his game? He doesn't. Okay. He doesn't. He, def- he doesn't. He's, he's the most complete fighter that there's ever been in the UFC. Yeah. But um, I know that I'm dangerous. Yeah. And it takes one at heavyweight. I guess he's, I mean, uh, he's well known as well being for meticulous watching tape. There isn't much tape on you, is there? No, but you can still, for me, you can find weak- weaknesses everywhere. Like, I'm sure I could watch John Jones and pick out something, but uh. <laughs> um, you've got to respect him and what he's done in the octagon. It's incredible. Yeah.